good afternoon and welcome back to another video i hope everyone is doing well i just thought i would start this video here actually this was going to be a race vlog i'm racing southport sprint triathlon on sunday so i thought i would vlog my race but i thought i would start today because i've just had a delivery from trim tax i ordered some new tri suits and i thought i would just get them out and unpack them and see how they are really i've been looking into tri suits i've tried a few in in my time of um my short time of competing in triathlon and i feel like it's just such a whirlwind minefield out there with all these different tri suits yeah what i've done is ordered from trim tax um, I've seen like quite a lot of the pros are wearing trim techs and I mean I guess you shouldn't judge it based solely off price but they're really bloody expensive um, so that's got to count for something but what I did I got an absolute steal so this is last season's kit and they've so brought out a new one which you know I'm, I'm not a pro I don't need like the most aerodynamic suit ever but this was last season's aerodynamic whatever and if it was good enough for last season it's going to be good enough for this season for me and one of them was supposed to be 359 euros which for a tri suit just absolutely baffles my mind so one of them was supposed to be 359 and it was reduced to like 109 so like a 250 euro saving which is amazing and then I got another one because like why not because it was so cheap and um, one that was supposed to be 200 and like i want to say 209 or 259 and it was down to like 88 or something two tri suits like 170 euros which was supposed to be like 500 odd euros worth of tri suits which like i said for tri suits for any for it to be that expensive why are triathlon so expensive why but then at the same time i understand because then i've also got some like cheaper tri suits like I, I had a dhb one from last year and i literally bought it because i liked the design on it and when i guess when you don't know what you're doing you buy stuff because it looks nice right so yeah you can feel the quality you can feel the difference oh my god i'm gonna be such a pro in these okay this is the first one it is Oh, it's just beautiful. So, again, I don't know what the difference was, but this one was slightly shorter leg, and then this one was the aero one, which I guess slightly longer, so I guess more aerodynamic because they're longer. <laughs> I don't know. But um, this is the other one. This is, like, the top of the range 359 euro one that I got for, like, 100 euros. So... Yeah, and I didn't know what size to order. I'm looking at these now. I hope they're not too big. I'm going to say, don't you hate that when you look at something and you're like, oh, that looks too big. And then you try it on, like, it's too small. Um, so, yeah, I've got that one. And then I just loved, well, I love the colour of this one. And I just thought, why not get another one? So I'm going to try them on, I think. I'm nervous to try them on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try these on. Let's see how they look. Right, I've just got the bottoms on. Definitely not too small. <laughs> Definitely not too big, sorry. I know I said just before, like, oh, they look quite big. Exactly what I just said before. Oh, but you hate it when something looks big and then you actually put it on and it's definitely not big. But I know they're supposed to be tight. Obviously, they're supposed to be tight. They're supposed to be skin tight. Um, so, let's hope. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. feel great in that let me just look in the mirror feels really comfortable i'm really happy in this so that is the first one that is a success i'm gonna try on this other one now and see how it feels but yeah so you can feel the quality and i know i was saying before like oh, well, what's, the, what's the difference like obviously there is and um, this obviously is really thin up at the top here to i guess help with like keeping me cool i'm gonna try it on i'm so excited <laughs> Hello, I'm just back from having my hair braided, all ready for tomorrow's race. I cannot braid my hair. I don't know how these girls do it who braid their own hair, but every time, <laughs> it's so bad. Every time I have a race, I go and get my hair braided at like a hairdresser's. And to be fair, today she only charged me £10, so it's not too bad. But sometimes when they charge like 20, 25 quid, it's like, that's an extra 25 quid that like literally goes towards my hair that's in for a couple of hours but anyway um hair is done my face feels like i've had a facelift obviously like for anyone who's new to triathlon um 
having your hair braided like this and I think just for any sport or sporting event is really useful just for obviously keeping it out of your face and especially with like the transitions in triathlon when you get out of the water and you take your swim hat off and your hair's everywhere and you try and put your helmet on it's just a hassle and it's something you just don't want to have to deal with so slick it back out the way and um yeah it's what geez that was a mistake I made in my first triathlon I think I just had it in a ponytail and then trying to brush that out at the end of it was awful so anyway i'm going to talk you through what i'm packing for tomorrow what i normally pack for a triathlon obviously it'll be slightly different tomorrow because it's just a sprint distance so nutrition wise it's going to be different a few changes that i would make if like racing a, a sprint in comparison to an ironman but um i'll talk you through that and i'll talk you through what i just keep in my transition bag um i've just got one of these huge transition bags so um it fits everything in which is ideal so i'm gonna pack all of this um but things that i have in here already things that i picked up along the way of doing triathlon so in this pocket here i've got sun cream I've got a load of bubbles. I've got like the little bubbles that go at the end of plaits because once I was driving to a triathlon and that one had broke. Um, I've got some like bigger bubbles. I've got some like hair grips. And I also have some plasters. I've got plasters in there, like normal um, and wrappers. Plasters, normal plasters. But then I've also got in one of these side pockets blister plasters as well, which again, obviously I'm not going to put a blister plaster on like midway through a race. So they're pretty useless to be fair, but I don't know, you never know, you never know, someone might need one, and you might just be there with one, I don't know, but I also have a bit of, yeah, a bit of a few coins in there, I've got some, like, safety pins for numbers, obviously if I was doing a running race, if I needed to pin a number to my top, and then I also have in here, which I'm just looking through now, which is ridiculous, I've just got loads of random gels, so these are the ones I usually use, the, the um, science and sport ones, um, so I've got... Um, a few spares of those, I've got some more there, and then I've just got also some gels that I've just like, again, picked up along the way that, you know, you get free at the end of a race or whatever, so they're just all shoved in there, whether I ever use them or not, they're just there as, I guess, emergency. Also, I've just got, like, emergency tampons in there, just, just bits and bobs, I also have some electrolyte tablets, these are my favourite ones, um, these, I don't even know who they are, I think... I think it's a Spanish brand actually, these ones. Anyway, I like them. I've also got the zero ones as well. So just some zero sugar, just purely electrolytes that I put in my water, especially when I'm doing longer distance races. I make sure to always have, well, and in longer distance training, I always have electrolytes in my drink. I never just drink plain water. On the other side, again, just random stuff. A load of swim hats that, again, just picked up along the way of doing races and some tissues. Um, and that's everything in there. So that's the bits that are already in my bag and maybe just a few little bits that you might not think of. So, also the final thing which I'm going to put in, I usually keep it in my bag but I've had it out because I've been away, is this um, tool that I use for my bike. It's got all like the, are they, not called, are they called Allen keys? Yeah, I think this is an Allen key. I don't know what these ones are. Anyway, <laughs> I use that for my bike um, just to tighten everything. So I just keep that with me just in case. Um, and what I'll do, I won't, obviously won't race with it tomorrow, like with a sprint, if something goes wrong with your bike, there's not really much point in trying to stop and fix it. Um, but obviously on like a half or a full Ironman distance, you know, there's every point to, to stop and just tighten it if it, you know, if it takes you a minute or two to fix your bike, it's still worthwhile. Right, so I'm gonna go through in order, swim, bike, run, um, and then any extras that I'm gonna pack as well. So to start off with, goggles, obviously. So tomorrow we're gonna get a swim hat um, and the color we get, like we'll determine which wave we're in. So um, I'll get a swim hat tomorrow, but I've also got some spares in there. Again, you never know. Um, got some spares in there, but we have to wear the swim hat that we're given. So just need goggles for the swim. And then obviously also a wetsuit. It is a wetsuit swim tomorrow. I am <laughs> dreading the swim tomorrow. So actually a post came up on I think my Instagram memories the other day. Obviously I did, uh, I must have done Southport Triathlon maybe like 
four years ago, five years ago, I'm not sure, but it was my first ever standard distance triathlon. And in this post, um, it said like three things to remember for future triathlons or three lessons I learned or whatever it was. First one, actually really important. When you take your wetsuit off, you're in a Russian transition, don't put your wetsuit on top of your trainers, which is what I did in my first standard distance triathlon. Then got back from being on the bike, put my trainers on, they were soaked through. You don't want to put any wet trainers on. So that was tip number one that old me said. Tip number two was don't get stressed when people pass you on the bike because you'll burn them off on the run. My run's far stronger than my bike, so I did have a lot of people back then flying past me. Hopefully I'm a bit better on the bike this time, um, so we shall see. The third point was, and that brings me to this point, was never enter Southport Triathlon. I'm doing Southport Triathlon tomorrow, and me five years ago said never enter Southport Triathlon again because the swim is awful because the marine lake in Southport is disgusting. Like, it is muddy and like i think in this post i put like i've never seen such black dirty smelly water and i remember it so well i remember being in the water and don't you hate it it's making me shiver now don't you hate it when your feet touch the bottom and it's like squishy and gross so i remember lying on my back in the water like this like freaking out and then when the gun went i like turned onto my front and started swimming tomorrow it's a rolling start so you walk in so as soon as my feet touch the floor i'm like gonna dive straight in because I can't face it. Anyway, yeah, old me said never do Southport Triathlon again because the water's disgusting and it is, but it's only 750 meters tomorrow. So I'll be out hopefully within like 12 minutes if I can get nearer to 11, great. Um, so that's part of it I'm not looking forward to. Need a wetsuit to protect us from that disgusting mud. Obviously underneath the wetsuit, we have a tri suit. So I've got my new tri suit that I will have shown you, I think yesterday. Um, I'm I am debating though whether to wear this because it is new, brand new and it's lovely and it's it's like a light colour and obviously the, with the water being so disgusting in Southport, like, I don't want to ruin it on my first race, I don't know if I'm just being precious, so I'll think about it, but try soon, which I absolutely love, I've just sent my other one back to get the smaller size calf sleeves if it was a non wetsuit swim you can't wear these but under your wetsuit you can so calf sleeves i just like everything to feel a bit tighter <sighs> that's the swim i think and then we get to transition so what i tend to do to help me like distinguish where my area is um in transition and also just to stand on a towel when i get into transition not that it makes much difference just to get some water off of my feet to dry them ever so slightly i just stand on it um before putting my cycling shoes on so um a towel then we'll be in transition to the bike so i've got my bike shoes i will also need my helmet which actually i'm gonna put on now oh my god when you've got plaits in obviously it changes the size of your head there we go yeah um so just make sure your helmet is like loosened the right looseness so that and also my sunglasses which are the sun god sunglasses so i will wear them tomorrow i think just to protect my eyes obviously my bike is downstairs i'm gonna clean that today i'm gonna do the chain i'm gonna degrease and then oil the chain is it oil grease the chain i don't know um so i will do that later on i'm also gonna take a couple of gels i probably won't bother what i'm gonna do is just have carbs in my drink so i'll just have a bit a bit to drink on on the bike but i won't need a gel it's literally like an hour or so and then back into transition so all of that will come off oh also race belt for my number i'm gonna go register later today and put my number and everything on and then we get back strip everything off and then into the run so i've just got these i'm gonna run tomorrow in these i raced in these all last year i've not run in them this year at all but um, I know I ran well in them last year and also they're the only ones that I've got my elasticated laces on. I don't want to be faffing around doing up my laces and everything. So they are the shoes I'm gonna, the trains I'm gonna run in. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna race in socks tomorrow. And also I have a visor as well. Cause again, as I said, it's gonna be sunny tomorrow. So I'll quickly whip everything off, grab this and put it on as I'm running out of transition. So I waste any time. That is, my little pack with me for my triathlon so i'm gonna go register now i need to drive over to southport which is only like i think about half an hour away so i'll go and park and see where everything is because i'll probably park in the same place tomorrow i'm gonna have chicken and rice like a stir fry rice for tea um so i'm all carved up for tomorrow but i think that's that's that so i'll catch up with you when yeah when i'm registering so here's the marine lake the dirty lake it looks lovely I've stood here but it's awful. I'm 
and more registered, number 887 tomorrow. Quite like that number. And yeah, got all my stickers for um, my bike and my helmet and everything. I've got my chip and I've got a swimming hat. I'm in the orange wave tomorrow. The amount of these epic events, swimming hats that I've got is ridiculous. Um, and it always seems to be in the orange wave. I've got so many orange ones. I got a t-shirt as well. Usually, I don't know why I got a t-shirt. Sorry, because usually I do, if you get an option to donate to charity, I do usually donate to charity because they're a bit, they're a bit naff, but um, I've got a t-shirt. So yeah, I'm gonna go drive home now. I'm gonna stop at McDonald's because I fancy a Coke Zero. <laughs> Crazy. And yeah, I think I'm done for the day. It's really weird, like, because I've not trained today. I feel like I've got so much time. Like, what do people do who don't spend hours training? <laughs> like, I'm gonna do a bit of work. I need to walk my dogs again, but like, what else do you do? Are you ready to race? Good morning, it's race day. <laughs> I'm just um, making a coffee, just, it's, what time is it? 25 past six, we're leaving at, uh, I think we're leaving at half seven actually. Oh, <laughs> leaving in like an hour. So actually, I'm not gonna go chill. I'm gonna um, drink this and get ready to pump up my tires, put my bike in the car and have some cereal. I think we should have some cereal because I ate loads yesterday. It's not like I need a big feed or anything. So I'll have some cereal and um, yeah, get ready for for the race, which is exciting. Weather looks nice and yeah, I slept pretty well last night. So all is good. My left or I'd love that. You do not want my blood here. I'll show you. Is it just an espresso one? This is pretty cool, isn't it? Look at this woman. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Dan Carly. Three hours, two minutes, and 30 time. But just, you know, go with what I say, Pam. Race number 254, Reverend Ken. Guys, you are going to swim out to boy number one, and you are going to keep it on your right hand side that are now both. We're going in 15 seconds. Come on, Laura, now we push. Come on, Let's just go. push. Well done. Okay, come on. Go on. Push out, come on. Well done. Go, Laura. Go, on, Laura, push. Go on, push. All the way to finish, go on. Well done. Well done. Race is done and third and I'm really happy with that first in my age group third overall and I think that means a qualification for world champs which is really exciting so I will give you uh, an update when I get home I'm just gonna go and pick up my bike now and then we're gonna go home quickly shower and then head to Nando's I'm starving I feel like I've got a bit of a tummy ache I don't know if it's a bit more psychological because the water was dirty and I feel a bit sick but I think it's just a bit psychological but yeah 109.44 I think my final time was um, absolutely smashed the bike. Run was alright, decent, swim was 
but I think I was about seventh out of the water, but yeah, I'll give you a full update when I get home. Hello, so I'm back and thought I would just have a sit down and have a quick talk through the race. Here is my medal. If you can see it, it's a little bit sparkly as well, um, which is nice. So, um, yeah, I thought I would just talk through how it all went, thoughts, takeaways, that sort of thing. Swim. Swim wasn't as bad, and maybe I was just dramatic when I did last time, but no, I don't think I am, because so many people say how awful Southport Marine Lake is. Like, it's, like, silty and dirty, and it's full of duck shit, and, oh, it's just disgusting but yeah I feel like it was so much worse last time I feel like last time when I was swimming like when you put your hand in like it would just be covered every so often you'd grab a weed but I guess that's just normal when you're open water swimming so maybe when I did it it was 2019 obviously I had far less experience then um of well of triathlon of open water of anything so maybe I'm just more used to open water now and just more accepting of the fact that it's going to be gross i don't know i think last time maybe i was just used to or wanted a nice clear pool yeah it wasn't too bad like getting in obviously it's a bit gross on your feet but i literally stepped in just did like a shallow dive and started swimming and i got to the front of the wave there was quite there was like 150 women i think there was so i just wanted to be at the front because if you get stuck at the back or in the middle you're gonna get kicked i mean you're gonna get kicked wherever you are but if you've got less people in front of you, there's less likelihood that you're going to get kicked by the people in front of you. So I was literally like fourth or fifth into the water and just went straight in. And swim was fine actually. I mean, I was quite out of breath and the whole way and me and this girl were like next to each other. We just swam next to each other the whole way, which isn't, you know, maybe I should have dropped back and like sat on her feet, but it's, it's difficult. Um, so... I don't know, but every time I turned my head, she was just there. Like, oh, hi. I felt like I was breathing more than I would normally in the pool. So I was breathing every, I was breathing every two rather than every three. So I'd do maybe like 10 breaths to one side and then I'd swap sides and do 10 breaths just to get more oxygen in because it was literally like from the gun, go. Like, no time to get into it, you just have to go. There were some really fast swimmers there. They usually are in sprints, like a lot of people come from a swimming background, so people just fly ahead. But I managed to come out of the water in seventh. I think, yeah, I think it was seventh I was out of the water, which I was happy with. Um, I can't complain. And my time, I think, was 11, 11.49 for my swim. And then as you get out of the swim, you have to then climb some stairs to go up to and out to T1 and I was as I was getting out of the water I mean I probably should have just waited till I got up the stairs and then started to undo my wetsuit but I was trying to unvelcro it but I just couldn't I don't know why I just couldn't reach and I just and then you know when you just then panic so I was like I can't reach I can't reach I'm never gonna be able to get this off and obviously I was slowing down so this woman behind me she was behind me on the stairs and was just like pushing me up the stairs um so I think I was slowing people down then because I was trying to get my wetsuit off and in hindsight I should have just waited till I got up the stairs and then transition was a really long run so I could have just undone it in transition like with sprints it is like go all out even in transition you want to be running through transition um, and because this was a world champs qualifier there was a lot of girls going for those qualifying places so people were like going for it and so in transition I had people or this girl trying to run past me so she was like on your left but I couldn't move over to my right because there was a man unracking his bike on the right and he was just a bit out of control of his bike he couldn't like wheel it and the wheel turned and then cut across us all and she was on the left and managed to go around and I just fell into him and just fell onto his bike I was like fuck's sake I was like why are you pushing me because this girl had pushed me over but it, like it, that's, that's just how it is isn't it like You've got to just be strong and, and hold your ground. But anyway, fell onto this guy's bike, stood myself up, carried on to transition. And transition was pretty perfect, to be fair. I managed to... Why are people messaging me? Go away. 2.25 for T1. So, I mean, obviously, like if I turn this to the side, actually, she's 14th female overall. So it was an all right transition. It was all absolutely fine. And then I got onto the bike and... I'm not joking, I smashed it. I absolutely smashed my bike. I felt so strong, I felt so confident, and I was in seventh as I came out of transition and got onto my bike and just flew. Got onto my bars and just flying. <laughs> and I just was overtaking all these girls. I was like, oh my God, like, what the hell? I was really shocked, to be fair. Transition was in the middle, you go out and back, and then you go out the other side and back into transition. Found myself in second place. I was maybe like 10 meters back from first girl shot past my mum and boyfriend and they're like oh you're in second like they, I don't think they were quite expecting to me to be in second so I was really happy about that and I managed to overtake her and sat in first for um yeah quite a lot of the sort of maybe like five to ten k of the of the bike leg which again I've never ever 
taken over, overtaken that many people on the bike like bike I've always said is my weaker discipline and I proved today and I proved to myself that it's absolutely not like it is just me that tells myself that it's my weaker discipline like it's not you just have to build up that confidence and that's what I've been working on that's what I worked on for like two weeks solid when I was in New York I just bike 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 get confident on it because that's where you're ultimately going to save the most time i averaged 36 kilometers an hour which i've never ever averaged anywhere near that in my life it was only on like over 20k and it was a very flat route but um when i did this triathlon last time i did the standard distance but last time i averaged 28 kilometers per hour so an extra eight kilometers per hour onto my speed which is insane i'm really proud of myself for that so came in to transition and first, second, third, so me and two other girls were all like together as we came into into transition. And I'm usually quite confident when I get off the bike, when I go into the run, that I've got quite a strong run, which I do, but these other girls had stronger runs than me. So um, they were gone. Well, I came out of transition in second and I could just hear this girl chasing me down. She was an amazing, amazing runner. And um, yeah, obviously she, she caught me and then she caught the girl in front of me and she went off to to win it. I felt really strong on the on the run. Uh, oh yeah, my bike time was 34.06 and then my run official time was 20.03. Overall time was 109.39 um, which I'm really really happy with. Second place was 20 seconds ahead of me and then first place was 30 seconds ahead of her so there's only 50 seconds between the top three which I'm really happy with and yeah I won my age group which is amazing because this was a world champs qualifier and so what you have to do you have to register your interest to qualify for world champs and you have to pay it's like a 12 pound fee on top of the entry fee and I did that when I was out in Mallorca I did that and I didn't tell anyone I didn't tell my family I didn't tell my boyfriend I didn't want to put extra pressure on myself I was like I'll give it a try I don't like there's a lot of fast girls there today and I was just like I'll give it a try but I'm not going to tell anyone because I was like I don't want that extra pressure to be like you need to qualify for world champs or whatever and because sprint isn't my distance really I'm, I'm training for an Ironman this was just you know to try and what what was the good thing about today was because it was a world champs qualifier I knew there was going to be lots of fast girls there and it's good to race against fast people like you can't just like I don't know it was good to be pushed I'm glad I entered that lots of fast girls and it really sort of showed me sort of where I guess I stand but yeah I, I applied for that and well I won my age group so I'm assuming you get a world champs place and that's for 2024 world champs and they're out in I think it's out in Malaga I think they said Malaga it's in Spain somewhere um, which is really exciting and that's just something cool to look forward to next year so I'll double check all those details and I'll update you when I know more about that but yeah it's to represent GB age group so that's really cool um, that's a cool little achievement and I'm really proud of that when I think back to when I did again I didn't do the sprint last time I did the standard when I did the standard distance at Southport it was my first standard distance like thinking back how knackered how exhausted how like it, how I, I hate, not hated it, but how I found it so hard when I did it last time. Just, yeah, just so how much I've improved this time and how uh, much more confident I am. Like, it wasn't easy <laughs> by, by any means. It was hard. Like, I just went hard from the gun. But, like, I felt confident today. I felt good. I felt powerful. And that just goes to show, like, how much just putting time and effort in really does help and it works and it pays off when you put the effort in consistently so yeah I'm really proud of myself for that and yeah it's cool <laughs> it's really cool third female first my age group 55th overall out of 431 people and yeah just feeling really good just been to Nando's I'm drinking a monster and we're gonna go for a walk now with the dogs and training continues as normal tomorrow obviously you know that was just I guess a hard day of training experience as well just in like a race setting being in the open water practicing on my bars as well that was a big thing practicing on my aero bars I felt really comfortable in that position and I've just spoken to my coach and he's like now you just need to get comfortable on those bars for six hours obviously that bike was what 34 minutes whatever I just said I, in an Ironman it's probably going to take me about six hours realistically to do the bike so I've got to get comfortable being sat on my TT bars for six hours very different but anyway it's all exciting it's all progress and it's all yeah it's all fun so I will leave it there oh also I won a um got a trophy I'll get my trophy out of the here it is <laughs> so I also won a 50 pound voucher for another epic epic events 
event so that'll be good i can use that at some point this season or next season so epic events do put on really good events but yeah as i said back to normal training tomorrow uh, i think i've got a swim and an easy bike um i've got a half marathon edinburgh half marathon next weekend so i will vlog that as much as i can and hopefully there's some footage in here my boyfriend had my camera so hopefully there's some good footage in this video don't know how it's going to turn out i always say that i don't know how this video is going to turn out that was i think my experience at southport triathlon i definitely recommend it people are so friendly i think that as well like the whole point of triathlon like it's just an amazing community and there were people of all standards there as i said in like my my camp video all standards all shapes sizes experience background and everyone was there just support each other it was so cool to just watch people and cheer them on the crowds were great and everyone was really supportive it's just lovely so well done if you also did the triathlon anyway i'm gonna go walk the dogs finish my monster mm and yeah get back to i've got some work to do and just get back to normality from tomorrow so i'm gonna have a lazy night watch some netflix and just have a bit of a chill so thank you for watching any questions or anything about anything that i've covered on this or just in general pop them in the comments below drop me a follow and hope you like this video and we'll catch up very soon goodbye